10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top Allumage Vulcan. Allumage des deux EAP et décollage Ariane 246 avec GSAT 11 et GeoComsat 2A. La propulsion est nominale. If I may say that anybody predicted, as the DDO says everything is okay on board, you saw Ariane rise right on top. Et la trajectoire est nominale. Lifting off from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire, you can see that, with her two new satellites. Always an impressive sight as Ariane roars off the ground on her mission. The two boosters providing 90, that's 90 percent of our thrust right now propelling the launcher along her trajectory at an ever higher velocity. Our mass at liftoff, 776 tons. Now, to get that sort of mass off the ground, you need a lot of push, you can imagine. And push we have, Ariane 5 burning five tons of fuel per second. That's 2.5 tons per second in each booster. Plus the core stage, the middle stage, burning at 300 kilos per second. The DDO says propulsion is normal on board, so we're doing fine. Very fine shots as Ariane 5 starts to head east toward the Atlantic, across the Atlantic. Ariane 5 now following the program in the onboard computer, which gives all the orders, including stage separations, which we will soon begin to see. La we trajectoire are est nominale et le pilotage est calme. Flight phases. We'll describe each in turn and in detail so you can follow Ariane as she heads east across the Atlantic. The first three stages are powered and the fourth is not. Right now, as you can see on the animation, the first flight phase, the single first stage engine, and the two boosters are burning. The boosters will each consume their 240 tons of fuel in just over two minutes, in about five seconds. And they're the first to be extinguished, and you'll hear that from the DDO, and you'll see that, and... Séparation des deux EAP, la trajectoire est nominale. The white point of light in the middle is the the lower stage continuing to burn and the two orange lights on either side are the two boosters flaming out. That's what it looks like up there. There's another booster on the port side of the vehicle falling into the ocean. This first flight phase using two different types of propellant la propulsion de l'étage principal cryotechnique est nominale. Coming up next will be the separation of the fairing. On the bottom of your screen on the right are altitude 100 kilometers on the on the left, sorry, altitude 100 kilometers on the right 225 kilometers per second as we wait for fairing separation. The DDO will call that out. And there you are, coming right on time. Et séparation coiffe. Separation is given by two pyrotechnic systems blowing these two halves away in a very controlled explosion. No danger to the vehicle threatened, of course. There's another half on the starboard side of the vehicle falling away. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the dense layers of the atmosphere. Over 100 kilometers up, there's neither friction nor heating, which could disturb the passengers. La de est we can also get rid of any dead weight. The fairing weighs two and a half tons, so it's a good time to get rid of it.